Indian name is Ashi said, Cadet Bajeta. He ties the bundle and a began kid. You know, I'm not only chairman for this tribe, but I'm chairman for the large land-based tribes in this country. It's every tribe with a hundred thousand acres or more. I was also the chairman of the Montana tribes, and also the chairman of ITMA. I think we showed the leadership that the Crows can give to this country. I spoke twice before the Montana legislature. I testified before the U.S. Senate five times. We've also brought a Senate hearing to probe on Indian House Service. The needs that we have in Indian House Service. It's very important that all of us start pushing our kids and backing them up. You know, this reservation, if you look at families, 54% of all the families are single parent families. I know it's hard, but I want to tell the cadets, you know, be proud that you have a mother or a father, or if there's just one parent, be proud of them, respect them. That's really important. A million dollars for each and every, not each and every, one of you, to fund everybody, and that's what we're trying to do. I want to thank, first of all, uh, obviously, Chairman Van for the introduction and, and hosting us uh, here today in Crow Agency. The things that we talk about. I think all of us have said education is the most important thing. To me it is also. Because I used to work here. We used to sit on benches back for our day. The dad and the mom would come to school and one would babysit and the other one would be in class. That's why I give this college a million a year. We have enough young people, smart people, to start running this tribe instead of the federal government. That's our problem. How can you be poor when you got $128 million in the bank today and we can't do a damn thing? That's not right. But we as leaders have to work together. And that's probably why we're here today, is to help each other out like the buffalo did. The spirit of the buffalo is strong today, and it reminds of, of what we're trying to do today. Crow Indians have learned to respect the leaders who protect our women and children, our rights, our resources, our ancient homelands. We are survivors. We have always fought for the protection of our treaty rights. This park is dedicated to our leaders who fought for these United States in every war since World War I. You know, during the time of war, bullets don't discriminate based on color of your skin. Yeah. I also say all of us, together as all Americans, then bullets over there in Iraq and if Afghanistan doesn't say, I'm going to shoot that white man or that Indian or that black guy or that Hispanic person. We're all in it together. But how do we do that? We need a change in America today. It's what we need.
I've seen a lot of good changes. I've seen a lot of good happenings. I've seen a lot of good, good, good happenings that the Crow Tribe has had here. So at this time, how? Why it was, you know? In remembrance of our loss. Very good. Thank you for being here. think the Crow Nation can stand by and lose a generation of its young people. This methamphetamine use is killing us. We have to realize that. Our kids have to realize that. We want America to be the leader it should be around the world. And we ask that you, Senator, commit to the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. On behalf of Indian country, we ask you to put resources into respecting the treaty process and restore the honor of the government-to-government -government relationships between Indian nations and the United States of America. We respectfully ask for tribal representation formulating the policies that affect us. A tribal advisor to the president in the White House. Regular meetings with tribal leaders and tribal officials in key possession. Senator Obama, we hope to see you during the administration of the first Indian Secretary of Interior. It is only right. I hope our young men and women do everything for them. It's just like this year's budget, I put a million dollars into scholarships. Because the federal government cannot send our kids to school with their money. But it takes us as a people to look out for each other. That's very important. To respect each other. That's also very important. But most of all, to the young cadets, to respect yourself. Be proud that you're a crow. And be proud that you live here on a crow reservation. And look to the future of how far you can go in school and come back and help your tribe. That's hopefully good advice to you, but everybody sitting here and you as cadets, always remember, you're no better than anybody else and nobody's better than you either. We're all the same as Absaloga. And the more we talk about that and remain and work together, We'll go a long ways as a tribe. Thank you. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud of my country. I'm proud of who I am as an Indian. And I'm proud of where I live.